Here's a little hummingbird, but there's another egg in there. Set the little hummingbird in here. Here you go, little fella. We're taking you home, bird. Oh, they're so sweet. So I'll tell you their this story. This is so neat. So these are the itty bitty babies that are in the incubator. All right guys, there's the hummingbird feather. Trin and Madison each got one. What's up guys? Today is going to be our operation Save the Hummingbird Day because at the lake house, there is a hummingbird in the lake house flapping around. Uh, the last few days, I let my editor actually uh, stay at the lake house and when they were leaving, packing their bags and stuff, a hummingbird flew in the front door and they were unable to get it out before they had to go catch their airplane. So, hey buddy, do you want to smile for them? You show them Buzz Buzz? <laughs> this is his Buzz Buzz. Action. Say Buzz Buzz? Buzz Buzz. Buzz Buzz. All right, so today buzz. we are going to go over there and see if we can save the hummingbird. Way to go, Trin, way to go. Oh my goodness, that is what happens when you touch a baby. Huh, oh, bud? It's a sad day, huh? Yeah, it's a sad little baby. He is the definition of drama. So, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a couple of our hummingbird feeders from outside, and then when we go there, I think my plan is to put a hummingbird feeder at the front door and the back door and just leave the doors open, and maybe it'll like coax the bird to come down to get some food, and then it will decide that it wants to live outside instead of in our house. That's the plan, and then I'll take a net just in case if we have to try to catch it. But we gotta get the hummingbird outside so we can go back with its little nest that I think is right outside the front door, these little baby birds, and have some normal outside food that hummingbirds like to eat. So that's where we're going. We gotta get the kids ready and then we're taking off. But first, we have Operation Fish Out the Dead Rat from our pool. The kids like to sometimes leave pool toys out here and I think it makes the rats think they can come out. So there's a rat. Everything else I think is a leaf. We haven't had a rat in the pool for, I think, two years. It's been really nice, but now we have one. Just, I'm just checking the pool, making sure nothing else. Nothing else, nothing else. All right, nothing, okay. All right, so it looks like we're good other than that. Um, my guess is it's the rats are thinking that they can walk out on this stuff, and they walk out, and then they can't, obviously, swim around. Um, and I think that's the problem that we had a couple years ago is we filled this with 30,000 ball pit balls. And so it didn't look like water. So the rats just decided to walk on it and obviously they couldn't, so. Over there, it looks like a dog crapped on our bench. Ew, that's gross. But apparently it's just a scrunchie, so we're good. We're good, we're good. Ew. Just a scrunchie, ew. Look at that, Trin, ugh. Trin is our, uh, don't even come over here with me. Ew. Don't even. Go throw it in the garbage. Okay. The brown one. Gross. <laughs> what is going on? I hear noise. I don't know. There's, okay. All right. Go to the lake house. All right. Operation Save the Rat didn't work, but the girls did kick the ball over the fence the other day, so they went for a quick walk to the neighbor's house, and Operation Save the Ball worked. Right, Madison? Yeah. All right. Uh, this is what I did. Now, <laughs> now let's, let's go. All right. Now we can finally get back to uh, Operation Save the Hummingbird. We've got... The hummingbird feeder's in here. I got some sugar, because we don't know if we have any. I got a net just in case. And we've got Trinity, because, I don't know. Oh, She'll oh, scare him out of the house. Remember I rescued the little baby one that had his foot stuck in the dirt? Oh, yes, yeah. All right, guys, at the uh, lake house, I'm gonna see really quick if the hummingbird nest that is over here is has a hummingbird in it, or if this might be the one that's missing. Okay, so, right there is our hummingbird nest. There's the babies in it, but no mom. All right, the babies are fine. I don't know if you guys can see. But the birdie's okay. So I'm almost positive that it's its mama. Mama, we need the trees. So we've gotta get this mama bird out so that it can take care of its babies. So. Oh, good job, okay, here we go. I know you so hungry. Just leave the doors open. Okay. All right, so first thing first, we gotta see if we can find a hummingbird. Hopefully, it's okay. Okay, if there's a door that's shut, leave it shut. Just look everywhere. I was hoping there'd be like a bird flapping around on it. Hey Google, turn off the lights. All right, don't see nothing. Oh man, it could be anywhere. 
their seats for company wear. It can be totally the best. Mm. All right. For all I know, our editor sent me a clip of this bird hanging out in the house and then let the, got the bird out, but didn't tell us, just so we could come here and make a video of looking for a bird that he already let out. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna open this door too. All right, open that up. All right, so we got the doors open. Um, we have not found anything. They haven't found anything upstairs. I don't see nothing downstairs. I don't hear anything. I don't know. All right. Uh, I'm gonna just set the camera down, walk around. Uh, when we find something, I'll turn the camera back. All right, guys, we're back. I do not have good news. Uh, we did find the hummingbird right down here. I was probably sitting here at the window trying to get out. Um, we just called somebody at the wildlife rescue place. Um, because there is the nest of the baby hummingbirds out here. Um, we just see one hummingbird in it. There's usually two. Um, but uh, they did say, uh, we sent them a picture of the upper hummingbird and they said, yeah, that is a female. It probably was its mom because we don't see its mom anymore here. And so we are actually going to grab the hummingbird nest off the tree and take it uh, over to wildlife rescue place and they know how to take care of baby hummingbirds because you can't just give a baby hummingbird the sugar water they need like insects and all that stuff for protein and everything to survive so we're gonna go ahead and pack up the hummingbird and drive to uh, Huntington Beach and let them take care of the hummingbird so all right guys so here's a little hummingbird I didn't even want to take the nest off so we just trimmed the branches off but there's another egg in there I think the oh, eggs are goes. supposed to hatch at the same time. So, oh. anyways, we're gonna go ahead and set the little hummingbird in here. Here we go, little fella. Now, baby hummingbirds are supposed to eat every 30 minutes. So, this little hummingbird hasn't eaten for 19 ish, 18, 19 hours. So, we're gonna go ahead and get over there, and in 30 minutes, it can eat, so let's go. Be careful with that trend. Bryson, what's the birdie saying? Tweet, tweet. Tweet, All right, guys, this little birdie just keeps tweeting. We're taking it home, bird. We did go ahead and uh, bump up the temperature. Gotta keep this little dude warm, because little baby hummingbirds can't regulate their body temperature. So, keeping it warm. And we should be there in, uh, less than half an hour. All right guys, um, we brought the hummingbird here. Hi there. To, uh, <laughs> they, they call you the hummingbird lady, right? <laughs> Look well, at this. I work for wetlands and wildlife care. Look at this. Yeah. She is taking care right of me, so many hummingbirds. What do you think? I'll bring them so off. So oh, they're so sweet. Look at his beak, it's bent. Oh, no, that little guy's flying around. Aww. So I'll tell you their stories. This is so neat. This little guy doesn't have any, he, he is, we lost his wing, his feathers, his primary okay. feathers on his right wing, but they're growing back. This little guy was malnourished. He was fed sugar water for just a week. And so his beak is a little wonky. See how That's what Trinity just noticed, yeah. 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 And so now with good yeah. nutrition, his beak is getting stronger and he's, he's able to self-feed and everything and doing really great. And then this little girl over here, she ran into a window, so she's got oh, a severe no. spinal injury. See how she's flying? She had a severe concussion and a spinal injury. Oh, yeah. But she's had physical therapy and pain medication. She's doing much better. And um, we're hoping that she's, you know, gonna be able to fly straight eventually. Oh, so, goodness. and then these little guys are just babies that are growing up. They're just learning to self-feed and they don't really fly very well yet. They're kind of out of control and learning to self-feed. There you go. Look at him. There he goes. These little guys in here and incubators. Let me bring those out. Those are my incubators in here. Hold on. Let me go get the babies. Do you see the babies? Hold on there. Oh, she's going to bring it up for us, okay? Wow. What do you think, buddy? Hold on there. The birdies say go tweet, tweet. So these are the itty bitty babies that are in the incubator. I just fed them. Yeah, that's where your little guy will go. I need to make some room. Oh my goodness. 
just look I at just it for a second. <laughs> what do you think? So they have full crops right now. Um, see the little bubble on the side of their neck? That's their crop that fills up when you feed them. Oh, okay. Yep, I see that. Yeah. And I feed them every 30 minutes from sun up to sundown. So then they grow, and when they grow, they'll go into a little larger container, and they'll learn to self-feed. And and they this is an Anna's hummingbird right here. And these are Allen's, the ones that have the brown on the back. So the brown ones, and this is a, this is a little bigger uh, species, the Anna's. Madison. That's so cute. What do you think? Wow. What if you girls, hey, mm -hmm. what if you learned how to be a hummingbird, take your care of rubber? <laughs> All right. Well, we got to uh, check out a bunch of hummingbirds, but we're going to take off so that she can go ahead and get the little baby hummingbird out of the nest into her little homemade nests and take care of the bird and beat it. What do you think, girls? So what do you think, Trin? Is that cool? Lots of bird beats. Woo. All right, so Trin, what else did you get? A, a feather. Let me see it. Whoa! Oh, oh it's bumpy. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah, so each of the girls were given a hummingbird feather. I'm going to show you a little closer here. All right, guys, there's the hummingbird feather. It's pretty cool. Trin and Madison each got one. All right, yeah, so we are back home, um, and I decided I'd take a look outside at our hummingbird nest here. There's no mama, so all we're going to see if we can show you guys some baby hummingbirds in our tree. Uh, they're not poking their heads up, so. Right there's their nest. There it is. That's their little nest with the hummingbird babies. Over on this side is an old nest. The mama hummingbird's coming. See it? I don't know if you guys saw it right there, but mama hummingbird just landed in the nest. All right, so I'm not going to go over there closer to this one, but that nest right there is one of the old nests. And we asked her if they ever reuse them, and she's like, oh yeah, all the time. We'll reuse them for like three or four times. But we've never seen a hummingbird reuse any of the nests, so we didn't think they did. But apparently, they will sometimes reuse their nests. So we're gonna leave that hummingbird alone. Okay, so we wanted to give you guys an update. It's been um, a couple, two, three weeks since we recorded the first half of this video. Um, the hummingbird is doing great. We got an update for you guys. So um, even though it didn't, have its mama with it the, that first night. Um, it's doing great, it's thriving, but um, that's our update for you guys. Anyways, give this video a huge thumbs up, bye.